Hi guys, I wanted to, to do a quick uh, video on a new way to get your parts to stick on your print bed for 3D printers. Um, now I've used ABS juice for three years and I always liked it. But recently I had a problem getting some ABS parts to stick properly. So I've got a larger printer now, TAS 4. And when I had really big parts, it stuck way out. I still had a problem with them popping up. So, um, I decided to, I tried hairspray, which some people have mentioned, but I decided to try the glue stick. This is the purple disappearing water-based glue stick. It works really good. The only problem I had was that uh, this is a jumbo stick, by the way. You can get them. This is about. I think this is the biggest one you can buy, but they have you know ones that are much smaller in diameter. The first time you do it, you just go back and forth like this. It's nice and easy. But on successive times, if you want to fill in wherever your part was, you know some of the glue will be gone, and you have to smooth it out or whatever. Well, I tried doing that with a wet rag. It seemed to work somewhat. And I tried doing this, and I tried. A bunch of things but I always ended up with like little lumps and bumps in my print bed of this and I, I tried to smooth it out and everything and it just wouldn't go on evenly so yes it works it works really good but it can be a little hard to apply and reapply it's not perfect so I got to thinking about it and since this is water soluble I thought, why not dissolve some in water? So what I did, I have a case of these, like six of them or something like that that I bought. So what I did was is I took a four ounce bottle and I took a new one of these and basically just un just screw this in until it comes all the way out. I took a, uh, one of these little exacting knives it's not exactly that, but you know what I mean. It's a little knife. And I cut it across twice. So I had little triangles. Because otherwise it wouldn't it wouldn't fit in the bottle I had. And I put it all in there and I filled it the rest of the way with water. Now I let it sit around for a few days. And every time I'd walk by it, I'd pick it up and give it a good shake. The stick never fully dissolve and I, I think what the reason is is the water is fully saturated now um, with it so as I use it I'm just gonna put more water in and let it dissolve again and it, when I can feel it or hear that there's no stick in there then I'll know that that's the last batch and then start a new one but it should go a long long way I've already coated my bed like four times with this stuff and it's it's only down to well, you can see it there. I'll farts down, down to there. And that's four full coatings on my print bed. And you don't have to recoat every print. Just every, you know, four or five prints. Or if you do a large print and it takes out a large area, you know, do that. Now, I happen to have a few artist brushes here and things. And wanted to try some different ones. This is the absolute best brush that I could get to do this. Now this is going to be a probably five or six dollar brush. Okay. But it's a one-time purchase. This is water soluble. Once you use a brush, go rinse it out with water. That's the end of that. Um, I rinsed out with cold water a few times and I noticed it was staying purple right at the bottom here. So the last time I did it, um, that means there was some glue being left there. So last time I did it, I put like one drop of detergent on top, uh, you know, liquid hand soap, dishwashing detergent, uh, and then I used hot water, and you just, you know, you just grab it and, and do that to it, and the hot water, and I just did that for like three seconds, and, I, and it came out perfectly clean, not a sign of the glue. 
So I just wanted to say this, you know, just just one little thin coat, just do little stripes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it's nice and even. Um, and it, it doesn't take long. I did, I have a 300 by 300 millimeter print bed, and it took me 30 seconds to do the whole bed. Now, I just started printing in PLA for the first time in over three years. I've always done ABS. And I wasn't sure if this was going to work. Well, you know what? It works almost too good. It sticks down very, very strongly with this. Now, I'll show you what I do. People may, may scoff at this, but this is a tool that I've always used, and I've got this in my other videos. This is what I've always used to, to get my prints up with. It's flexible, it's strong, it's like a spring steel or something. Very, very, very thin edge. So, what I did with these PLA prints, I couldn't even get it under with this. Let them cool down completely, and then I put this on the edge of the print, so like, I printed this, so like, put this, uh, you know, right on the edge of the print, but at the bottom, and then just tap it. What I'd actually do is hold it down here so it wouldn't vibrate so much. And then just tap it with a hammer a couple of spots. And eventually, this will just go poof and slide in just a little bit. And that's all you need. Because then you just work it back and forth as you're pushing it in, and it will pop off. So I haven't had a complete problem getting the parts undone. But if you have a large part and you're using PLA, this is going to stick like nobody's business. You know? it, it just, it's, it's amazing how well it sticks. I can, my printer's probably 40 pounds, and I could probably print a pole in the middle of it and lift my printer up with PLA. Now ABS, it sticks very good, but not nearly as well as the PLA does. The ABS, uh, when it cools down, if you're patient enough, sometimes I'm not. When I'm not patient, I use this, but. Uh, when you use when you use the uh, this solution and you print with ABS, if you're patient enough to let the bed cool all the way down, prints will just pop off. Usually, I can just grab them and, and wiggle them a little bit. Sometimes they'll go boom and pop off on their own, and I just pick them up. And uh, the the line that prints around the print before you uh, you know before it actually prints apart, this just poke at it a little bit, it'll come up and it'll pull up in one piece. So, I just wanted to uh, make a note of that. I thought it might come in handy for somebody. If you uh, got something out of this video, if you liked it, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments below and be sure to click on the, the thumbs up, the like button. helps me out. And uh, uh, if people are interested in these videos, I will definitely make more of them. I have a lot of stuff I could talk about, but if nobody likes it, nobody wants to watch it, then it's not worth my time. Alright, so thank you very much. Have a great day.